Amongst the greatest players in the history of Brazilian football are the likes of Pelé, Ronaldo and Mario Sagallo. But Marta Vieira da Silva, known commonly as Pelé in skirts, holds an incredible array of records that has seen many call her the greatest footballer in the history of the women's game. Amongst her records are the all-time top Brazilian scorer with 115 goals, and the most goals at a World Cup Finals with 17, one ahead of Miroslav Klose. She is an inspiration to the women's game, as well as the LGBT community. This is a story of Marta Pele in skirts. Marta Vieira da Silva was born in Dois Reichos, Brazil, on the 19th of February 1986. At the time of her youth, many girls were excluded from playing the beautiful game, with a complete ban on women playing football in the country having been in place until 1979. Whilst the ban was lifted before her birth, the gender discrimination had not gone away. Marta was often excluded from playing football with her male peers, and would have to develop her skills by herself. Growing up in poverty, she would often practice by playing with abandoned deflated footballs or stuffed shopping bags in the streets of her hometown. She was discovered at the age of 14 by Vasco da Gama, who had recently begun developing a women's team. She would then play for Santa Cruz before joining Umia IK in Sweden. She had already announced herself on the international scene, scoring three goals in the 2003 World Cup as Brazil reached the quarterfinals. That same year, she won her first international honour with the Copa America. At Umia, she helped the side to the UEFA Cup final, where they beat Frankfurt 8-0 on aggregate, with Marta netting three across the two legs. She netted 22 goals as Umia narrowly missed out on the league, and over the next four years, she helped them to four Swedish league titles in a row, amassing a total of 111 goals for the side. Brazil travelled to the 2007 World Cup in China with Marta in fine form. She netted seven goals and got five assists as Brazil strolled to the final. Sadly, Brazil would lose 2-0 to Germany, with Marta missing a penalty. However, she still walked away with her head held high, holding both the golden boot and golden ball. She soon recrossed the Atlantic, joining Los Angeles Sol. Brazil got a silver medal at the 2008 Olympics, meaning she had lost a third consecutive international final. However, her pain was soon eased when Marta's nine goals, including one in the final, saw Brazil win the 2010 Copa America. Whilst Brazil were knocked out of the quarterfinals of the 2011 World Cup, Marta still netted four times to become joint all-time women's World Cup goalscorer. At the next World Cup, she netted again to take the record for herself. And in 2019, she became the first ever footballer to score in five consecutive World Cups. And with her second goal of the tournament, she became the highest scoring player at a World Cup Finals, with 17 goals overall. Brazil were knocked out by France in the round of 16, and after the game, she pleaded with Brazilian girls to value women's football, and that they should cry at the beginning so that they can smile at the end. Marta has also become the first ever female footballer to have her footprint placed at the Maracanã's Walk of Fame. She is still going strong, playing at Orlando Pride, and in 2021, she became the first footballer to score in five consecutive Olympic Games. Also in 2021, she announced her engagement to Orlando teammate Tony Presley. Brazil is a country with a horrific record on LGBT rights. Current leader Jair Bolsonaro is openly homophobic, and according to campaign group Grupo Gay da Bahia, almost 300 people were murdered in homophobic hate crimes in Brazil in 2019. Julia Santana, a member of the LGBT community and council member on Brazilian club EC Bahia, has spoken about the positive impact of Marta coming out, stating, being LGBT in Brazil is an act of courage. LGBT people like us are not safe on the streets, like Marta is not safe simply for being LGBT. A homophobe might rethink because of the influence of Marta, but I think the gain from Marta's wedding is much more through what it represents. An LGBT child can see themselves represented in one of the greatest idols in the history of football. They can take strength from that to continue living.
Marta is a huge pioneer in the development of the women's game. Brazil have lagged behind other footballing nations, such as the USA and Germany, because of the sexist laws preventing women playing football that were in place. But with a vigorous influential as Marta, she will inspire many girls in Brazil to take to the game themselves, as she managed to claw her way out of poverty against all the odds. And perhaps her story will help others to do the same. The woman's game is something that continues to grow, and Marta has been a huge part of that, with many seeing her as the greatest player the woman's game has ever seen.